from the bottom of my heart, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. For watching this guy's channel. No, Jody's like channel. Jody's Corner. No. My Man. favorite. Thank you so much. <laughs>Two was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. Feels good to be here talking to you guys, talking to the camera again in my setup in my home. Uh, I would like to thank everybody who has uh, made the studio possible. Jody's Corner Live, my studio production set. I invite you guys to take take a look at it. It's on my channel. It's, it's it's amazing. So shout out to my donators and my patrons on Patreon. And thank you everybody who just watches my channel. I wanted to just talk to you guys real quick. It's Wednesday. And it's, I don't know, like, what time is it? It's 3.57 p.m. I have the Just Us League live stream in about an hour. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys about Endgame. How I'm feeling about Endgame, where I'm at with it. I want to be very clear because when Infinity War came out and I wrecked that movie because I didn't really, I didn't wreck it. I wrecked it without wrecking it. I gave it, like, a C. But when I called that movie off for its flaws and issues that I had with it, a lot of people got hurt and offended and they feel sad. And I'm not out to hurt nobody with my opinion. I know some people value it and when I say something they don't like, they get mad. I get that, man. But that's why I wanted to make this video. Because YouTube took down my reaction for the Avengers Endgame, the trailer 2, the last one that just passed up. YouTube took it down. Shout out to you for YouTube for demonetizing all my videos and everything. It doesn't matter because I got donators who donate. So AdSense could kiss my grits. But I will say that because that video was taken down, a lot of you guys didn't get a chance to see what my thoughts were at that moment after watching that trailer. It brought me to tears. It was truly emotional, and it really revealed something to me about how I've been looking at the MCU and how I've been looking at the Avengers. I got on Infinity War because it disappointed me, because it didn't live up to its, its hype, and it didn't do what it was, should have done. The characters, respect the characters. With Endgame, after seeing that trailer, seeing those montages, seeing Cap and Tony and, and and Hulk and Thor and mostly Cap and Tony, the ones I really care about, the ones that I love, I really realized, like, bro, Jody, you tripping, man. They are about to be gone from the MCU. Like, Captain America's gone. He's not. He said he's not returning as Cap. I don't think that Iron, Robert Downey Jr. is returning as Captain America. Uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, he might leave because I remember a couple years ago he said he was he was done, so maybe he'll leave. Um, the only one that's locked that I know of is Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. You know, Spider Man's here or there, and we already know the other person who's going to lead the future. The future that I probably don't want to be a part of, Brie Larson. But anyway, after seeing that trailer, it made me feel some type of way, and, and I realized to myself, bro. I need to just enjoy these characters for the love that I have for them and cherish the moments that I have. The future looks bleak, but the right now, it's still here. And I love my characters. I love these characters. And I want to see my Avengers go out however they go out, finish however they finish in a, in a beautiful way. So, for the first time ever on Jody's Corner, I let you guys know on that reaction video... That the movie review that I put out for Avengers Endgame will be completely fan-based. I am going to fanboy bias the shit out of that review because it's not a, your ordinary movie. It's not like a one-off Spider-Man movie that comes out, a one-off Wonder Woman or uh, Wolverine this is a bigger picture. I've spent 10, 11 years with these characters, so it's different. It's There's there's things making these movies better, Infinity War and Endgame, that are outside of the films themselves. That's the 10-year buildup, and that's never happened. That's kind of unprecedented. So with unforeseen situations come unforeseen results, and you're going to see some unforeseen shit. I'm telling you right now, my Avengers Endgame review is going to be biased as shit. I already love the movie. That's where I'm at with it. When I spoiler free that joint, I'm going to just completely love it and let you guys know how my experience was watching it and how I felt with the characters. That's what it's going to be about. I'm not going to, that critic hat, I'm taking that shit off and kicking it to the wind. The rest of you could do, YouTube could do it. Why can't I? 
So that's what I want to do because I want to enjoy this movie. I don't want to not. I don't want to wreck this film. I don't want it to hurt. So I'm gonna. I'm going to enjoy this film. I'm going to love this movie. I already love this movie because I love these characters and I love everything that builds up with it. Most of them. So that's just an FYI to let you guys know what to expect. Now, some people, Jody, you ain't keeping it real, dog. Hey, bro, I've been on this real movement for three and a half years with the existence on my channel, bro. Let me get this one where I could just take my critic hat off and be honest and think about it from a fan perspective. Not the Jody the critic. You feel what I'm saying? Not, oh, this is not right. Let me let me hit that. Oh, I see that. Let me hit that. Nah, let that shit go. Shout out to Cat, bro. Hey, what about that? Don't make sense, Jody. Look at that narrative flow. What narrative flow? Did you see Captain America throw that shield? Oh, Jody, what are you talking about? What about the time when Thanos did this? That made no sense. You talking about Thanos with that sexy suit he had on? The way he did that uppercut was epic, bro. Basically, I'm about to Infinity War, you niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. I'm about to be on point where y'all was at. So that's what you're going to get. And coming in before this film, I'm going to do some predictions. Now, where my mind state is at is like, look. I know the movie's going to have problems. I'm not stupid. Infinity War had problems. The Russo brothers have come out and said that they regret filming them back to back. I said a year before the Russos came out and said that, that filming them back to back was a mistake because you can't make the necessary adjustments based on the reception that Infinity War had. So they just had to just roll with it. If they make a bad movie, then they're going to make two bad movies. If they make a great movie, they're going to make two great movies. So basically what I'm saying is, those of you guys who had problems with Infinity War, those of you guys who thought Infinity War wasn't right, those of you guys who thought Infinity War sucked, you guys will also think the same about Endgame. I'm putting my money on that. Those of you guys who liked Infinity War, those of you guys who thought Infinity War was awesome, those of you guys who thought Infinity War was the best freaking Marvel movie ever made, you guys will probably feel the same way about Endgame. It's just going to further it. It's going to be more of the same. Okay, well, let's take a look at what Infinity War was, to me personally. Infinity War did well with showing action and eye candy that meant nothing. The action and eye candy meant nothing because it didn't mean much to the characters themselves and the story it was trying to tell. It didn't really have a story. It was just following a man, get rings, and snap. That is basically what it was. And we didn't get enough time with the characters we know and love. Hmm. We got more Star-Lord. <laughs> We got more Rocket Raccoon than we got Captain America. That, my friends, is the disgrace. The power scaling was an issue. Captain America stopping Thanos' full might, strength punch, crazy. The Stormbringer helmet going through a six infinity stone blast. Him still snapping. Uh, um, uh, she goes on and on. There's so many of them. Thor being able to be OP and not. Uh, the gauntlet. How has that happened when the, when the, the, the little men... And, 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 and Thor with the time got more annoying about where the stole stone is but they said in the first Guardians that it was this and that it's a, the narrative flow was wrong the story was non-existent they cut out most of the, most of the beginning because he just popped up with a freaking gauntlet I really with a with the power stone I really believe they cut about 15 minutes of the beginning and it showed the Black Order go to Nova and take that stone but they edited it out for time I don't know, I still believe that um, the power scaling issue on with that some more because how Captain America and Proxa, uh, 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 Wanda, Scarlet Witch, one of the most powerful characters in the MCU, and Vision, one of the most powerful characters in the MCU, took an L to Proxima Midnight and the guy with the, with the spear. When Captain America and Hawkeye show up, then they start to get served up. They were beating the shit out of Vision and uh, Wanda. But when Captain America, when the humans show up, a human Captain America, a human Black Widow, and a whack human Falcon show up, they serve them up. That shit wrecked my soul. The overall feeling of emptiness that I got with Infinity War. How nothing really meant nothing. Yeah, a lot of stuff is going on, but the feel of, the feel of stakes didn't mean too much to me. The pacing of how it was just... The whole film of Infinity War was just five, five to ten minute scene after five to ten minute scene clip. It was a, a, a montage of just clips. Space, cut, cut to Earth, cut to Pro cut to uh, Blackwater, cut to Thanos, cut to Tony, cut to Doc. It was just cut, 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 cut. Space, Earth, ship, Thor, Soul Stone. Space, Earth, ship, Thor. In the middle of the battle, when when Thanos is having a battle, cut. It's cut to Earth. In the middle of it, it's cut back. It was just. 
It was a display of slides of epicness. That's what Infinity War was to me. It was a display of diff of a hundred slides of epicness to blind us from not understanding that we weren't really getting the meat and potatoes. We were really getting empty calorie candy bars. You know what I'm saying? But it was really good candy, <laughs> really good eye candy, very good looking action. But the action itself wasn't didn't mean anything. Never got Tony. In, we never got Captain America and Iron Man to share a scene together. That was weird. People were spread out all over the galaxy. We never got that big sixty character fight they talked thirty something character fight they talked about. Um, there was never really a fight, a real punch punch bam fight. Until, like, except for that little exchange between Thanos and Iron Man. The getting the gauntlet off of, of Thanos' hand was like a, a charade. It was dancing. It was choreographed. It was aloof. It was goofy. It was like, it wasn't a real brawl. A real savage fight that looks like what we're going to get in Endgame with Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man. There's a lot of little different things that I didn't like about Infinity War. Now, I do personally think... That all of, a lot of those same issues are going to happen in Endgame. The difference here is that when I was looking at Infinity War, the trailers and um, the reactions I did to it. And then later on the movie review after seeing the film, I didn't look at it like that. I looked at, I looked at the uh, Infinity War on the same level of Black Panther, Winter Soldier, Civil War. The really good films that Marvel and Feige and the Russo brothers have been able to produce. But Infinity War came out and it really just didn't have that same effect and the same appeal to me. And I got mad, very mad, because they could do better than that. And I still think they could do better than that with Endgame. And I still do think they're going to probably drop the ball with if, if what, I, what the old Jody wanted. With the Infinity War, I'm not going to have the same expectations of Endgame that I have of Infinity War. Because I'm going to set myself up for an L. Instead, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Endgame looking for the positives as a fan, not as a film critic. Because when I look at this stuff as a film critic, it ruins it for me. And this is the first time I don't want it to ruin it for me. Normally, I want to look at it through the critic's eyes because that's just who I am, how I do things in life. And I want to just make sense of everything. This movie's not going to make too much sense. Especially when they're dealing with time travel. Bruh, it's going to be very sloppy. That's just how I feel. But I'm looking for my characters. I'm looking to enjoy every single second that I see Captain America and Iron Man on that screen and Black Panther. Those are my three favorite characters in the MCU. I am just want to cherish what I got. You know what, Jimmy Crack Corn? I don't care what y'all want to do. Just let me love you. You feel me? That's how I feel. I just want to enjoy this film and just take the critic head off and just see the eye candy. Eat them baby roots. <laughs> Milky Way. <laughs> what about these steak and potatoes from Civil War and Winter Soldier, though, Jody? That seems wholesome, and it will make me not... It'll, it'll nourish me right, but nah, kick that sheep. Give me some more baby roots. Quick, Diet Coke. <laughs> Twizzlers. <laughs> more eye candy action. <laughs> Give me some of them Skittles. That's what I want. Full stripe gum, bring it. That's where I'm on. So I just want to let you guys know where it's at. I think Endgame is going to be truly epic, man. It's tomorrow, man. It's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's tomorrow. And shout out to my man Loki cuz I don't want to I don't want to brag, but a subscriber gave us the tickets. We have the best subscribers on the YouTube platform when it comes to pop culture stuff. So, I want to shout out my friend Loki who hooked up the league with 10. I repeat 10 to 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is $250 worth of in-game tickets. Y'all don't believe me? Oh, can y'all see that IMAX? It's kind of blurred out. IMAX. Ah! Avengers. IMAX. This is, this is stellar. Let me know if you guys can beat this if you live in California. Avengers IMAX, 6 p.m., Row E. Universal City Walk. <laughs> Those of you guys who are from LA know that that ticket is hard to get, bruh. 
probably sell these for a hundred dollars a ticket right now. Some people paying up to two, three, four hundred. Bruh, shout out to my subscriber who hooked us up. I'm gonna see it. This is gonna be lit. We're going to celebrate, man. I hope you guys enjoy Endgame as much as I will. I hope you guys freaking love it, man. Shout out to Captain America, my favorite character in the MCU. Number two, Iron Man. Number three, Black Panther. We need to enjoy this moment in history, guys. And all those of you guys who have problems with Infinity War like me, I'm going to ask you guys to do the same. We'll talk about it later. After the dust settles, we'll get real. We'll put that critic hat slowly back on and we'll talk about it. But for right now, we're enjoying this film and this experience. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, guys. Let it go. I don't want to see you cry. Thank you guys so very much for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel for more of that real content. Movie review coming to you tomorrow night. I am Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing, man. Deuces.